Okay, hello you guys. Um, I'm gonna teach you today about something called contour drawing. So I'm just gonna use the back of my paper, but let's say we are gonna draw an apple, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I were to just draw, you guys probably can't see, I'll make it a little bit darker. If I was just to draw an apple, looks like a little bit of a wonky apple, all right? And you could see probably some of the back, depending on where you're at. When you shade your apple or when you are going to try to make it look realistic, because the apple is curved, you're not necessarily going to be shading it like up and down or back and forth, right? We want everything to go with the apple because the apple's round. So an apple is round, so we would have lines that go like this, right? Um, and then, you know, you might have lines depending here that get a little bit closer and then sort of get out wider because of how the curve of the apple is. Or, you know, part of it comes here and then these get a little bit closer. So we want to do contour. This is called contour, all right? Right there, all these lines here are contour lines because it helps us see like, oh yeah, the apple is round here. So I need to make sure that I am shading it and making it look round. I don't wanna shade it up and down because an apple isn't flat. It's not up and down like that. So we are gonna do a little bit of something with this. Um, and so contour, all right, so contour lines. All right, and this is um, really gonna help you later on with getting things to look really realistic. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with it though. I'm not gonna ask you to draw an apple and put these lines on it. What I am gonna ask you to do, now I'm gonna just gonna flip this over here. What I am gonna ask you to do is I'm gonna ask you to create an optical illusion with your hand, but using contour lines as well. So you're gonna put your hand, I gotta turn this a little bit. Sorry if you guys can't see. So I'm put my hand on the paper and I'm gonna trace it. So I can always go back, make it look a little bit better. If you wanna add a ring on, like I probably add my ring on here. I'm gonna skip it real quick though. I'm not gonna trace that cause I can add that on pretty easily. You really wanna to try to make sure your pencil is straight up and down when you are doing it, because if it's at an angle, then you'll go under your fingers and then your fingers will look super, super skinny. Um, I don't wanna add my watch on, even though I wear it all the time. I just don't wanna do that right now. So I didn't draw, um, I didn't draw my watch and I'm just gonna connect my lines, connect my lines, right? So I did say I was gonna draw my ring. So I'm gonna come here Draw a little bit of my ring here. All right, maybe come in here, make my lines a little bit darker. Especially some of them where you couldn't see very well. Oh, messed up there. I do much better if I sort of come from the top because then I can see where I'm going as opposed to coming from the bottom. I don't know, it just works better for me. Okay, so now I have my hand and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, all you need is, is a straight edge. So like even um, a thicker piece of paper that's a different piece of paper, a side of a cardboard or you know, edge of a folder, whatever, <clears throat> just need a straight edge. So now what we are gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we are gonna add some contour lines. Our background is flat, so our lines on the background are going to be flat. And then the lines on our hand are going to have curves because our hand is three dimensional. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna first make this go off the page. There we go. Um, and you can do your hand in any position. I find that it's easier to do it flatter instead of trying to like ball up your hand like this or whatever, it's just a little bit harder, but you can definitely do that. So. Sorry, you can't see. I'm gonna have my ruler here and I'm gonna draw a straight line. Not all the way across though. See that, how I drew a straight line here but not on my arm? Um, and I am doing that because I have, um, I need to make rounded lines, right? So I am going to continue to make these straight lines here 
gonna keep going. They don't have to be perfectly like spaced out, perfectly even. You do want them to be as like straight as possible, I guess. Um, but I don't necessarily need to make sure they're all the same width. Um, I have had people who have done the contour lines with their, when they do their straight lines. I find that right now it's easier. Oh, I went into my hand, I'll have to erase that. I find that it is easier now just to do the straight lines because we're not doing our fingers or anything. Once we get into the finger territory, it does get a little bit complicated, but um, we'll make it work like we always do. Ooh, I moved that one. I wasn't holding my ruler that well on that one. So I'm gonna come back here, just redo that line, make it look nice and good. I don't want all these wonky lines in the background unless they are purposeful, right? And we talk about that. Oh, I didn't even realize. Gotta have a little line in there. Now I'm getting into more spaces, like where my thumb and my hand open up there. So I'm getting more spaces in here. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going. All right, I'm gonna stop right there for right now, just because I think sometimes the fingers, like we talked about, get a little wonky. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect all these lines here. And because my arm is round, I wanna start here and make a curve. I like to come from both sides and make a curve like that. And then I'm gonna come here and here and make a curve. I want to try to make sure my curves are generally the same they probably won't be exactly the same, and that's okay. And I know I'm making sketchy lines, and I will come back and clean that up, but for right now, it's okay. All right, so you can see how it's curving to show that um, my arm is round. I could have See, I don't, I want this to be more rounded. So I'm gonna come in here, fix that up a little bit. So bring this up and really make it round. There we go. Really exaggerate, that's what I was missing. Really exaggerate that line. I'm putting my hand in the way, I'm sorry you guys. See how now it looks more round? That's what we want. I wasn't exaggerating it so much. And we want, there we go. So it's gonna get a little bit more difficult as we get to this part, but that's again why I like to go from both sides. There we go, up again. Okay, so now this one, this is where it, I'm telling you it starts to get tricky. This one needs to connect here, oops. connect here and then again here. Right? See, this is where it gets crazy because then look at this line. That was that line. This was supposed to connect here. So I might have connected too early.
Oh, because this line didn't come all the way through then. So, that doesn't work, does it? Let me erase that middle line there. See how it gets crazy when we get to the finger part? <clears throat> Let's line this up again. So this one does go there. Where did I mess up a line? All the way down here? How did that happen? I skipped a line here. Oh man, you guys see that? I skipped a line all the way down here. So now it's all the way, <laughs> it's all messed up. Um, That's okay. Let's see here, we'll erase this line. Holy cow, I was talking to you guys and messed up. So then that means this side is off. So this is right, okay. We might have to erase a line in here. So this line was straight across. This line went like this. Okay. So let's start on this side. Let's keep going from this side and then we'll figure it out. So this is going all the way down here. There we go. And then this one will come here like we had. Okay, do this one. Comes up to here. And then this one goes around. So this line might not be existing here anymore. Yep, see that line's gone then. Okay, so this is a bigger space, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. Um, just like this down here is a bigger space. And to the eye, it does look a little weird, right? Cause there's two bigger spaces, but maybe that'll happen again somewhere else or whatever. It's okay. Um, so, so like this automatically has to go here and then a little bit here. See, and this is coming here. So because of where it hits on my knuckles, it's gotta be rounded a little bit. And this line is coming here, right? And then sort of going there. See how like they have nowhere to really go now? So it's really trying sometimes because I don't know about you, but I like everything to sort of look somewhat similar when it comes to these kinds of things. So I'm gonna just go one at a time from now on to make sure everything lines up. So making these really exaggerated lines, remember, cause on the bottom it didn't look so good when we didn't do that. So really exaggerating, making sure our fingers look like they are round. I think I'm gonna come back in and make this one a little bit round here. It'll just make it look better, right? Maybe make this. There. So we're gonna continue. I wanna make them a little bit closer on the top here so that we have a little bit more fun with it. All right, so I did two lines. I'm gonna stop, really line them up. All right, come back here. Looks like my pinky's done. We're gonna go above my pinky because I have no more space to put any lines here. Looks like it didn't go all the way over there.
look at that, done with my hand. So now, sorry, I was out of view for you guys a little bit. So now I have the easy part of just drawing lines all the way up to the top. That one was a little wonky. And I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you go up to the top and it's not exactly even, it's gonna just mess with you a little bit here. All right. Oh, looks like I need another line here somewhere. And that is your contour drawing, part one.